At Oticon, we are proud to continually develop our fitting software, Oticon Genie 2, to provide a more seamless and intuitive fitting experience. From 2024.1, Oticon Genie 2 incorporates multiple new and improved aspects. So let's look into Oticon Genie 2 and walk through the fitting flow, highlighting these new aspects and their benefits. Firstly, when you enter the selection step, you will now see that the new Oticon Intent family appear in the list of hearing aids. When connecting Oticon Intent hearing aids, the new smart speaker units are also detected. Oticon Genie 2 will automatically detect the receiver length, assign the hearing aid to the right or left ear, and select the fitting level. More information about the speaker unit, including the receiver serial number, and receiver length is available when hovering your mouse over the hearing aid or if you print a fitting report. So still in the selection step, having successfully selected the hearing aids, let's move to the personalization tab. Here, a new and highly evidence-based method is now available to personalize your fitting based upon the client's individual hearing and noise ability. It's called the Audible Contrast Threshold Test, or ACT. When integrated in Oticon Genie 2, the ACT value is used, along with the client's pure tone audiogram, and to a lesser extent their age, to automatically prescribe help in noise settings tailored to the individual. Now, if we move from the selection into the fitting step, a new tool has been added to REM AutoFit. There is now a helpful REM probe tube placement tool, which indicates how deeply the probe tube is inserted into the ear canal. This enables easier and more accurate probe tube placement, and therefore more accurate real ear measurements. A major change in the fitting step in Oticon Genie 2 2024.1 is a redesign and upgrade of more sound intelligence. More Sound Intelligence 3.0 offers an intuitive new environment classifier interactive tool, which is ideal to use as a tool for counseling and for prescribing individualized help in noise for your client. Alongside the new user interface, More Sound Intelligence 3.0 also includes a new and improved deep neural network 2.0 and the introduction of novel sensor technology which applies varying support from more sound intelligence in simple to complex environments based on head movement, body movement, and several acoustic inputs, including conversation activity. To further adjust aspects of more sound intelligence, including activating or deactivating sensor technology, you can expand this sound configuration window to find more options. Click the information icons to learn more about each aspect of More Sound Intelligence 3.0. There's also a new addition to data logging, which is found under the fitting step, more tools, and data logging here. Under the hearing aid usage information, Oticon Genie 2 is now able to distinguish between the time the hearing aids are switched on and the wearing time. This provides crucial information about how much the hearing aids are being worn, promoting conversation with your clients about their hearing aid use patterns. Finally, let's move on to the end fitting step. Here, under controls, buttons and taps, and call controls, you will see tap control. The client now has the option to answer or end calls using tap control on their hearing aid. Tap control is activated by default and can be deactivated here in Oticon Genie 2. The last exciting new aspect of Oticon Genie 2 in 2024.1 is the ability to connect and perform a hearing aid fitting when your hearing aids are in the charger, helping you make efficient use of your appointment time, even if the hearing aids have low battery when your client arrives. So if I place these hearing aids into the charger, you'll see a notification pop up, and also you'll notice that the charging icons appear. 
Note that some features, including in-situ audiometry, feedback analyzer, tinnitus sound support, and real ear measurements are not possible when the hearing aids are in the charger. In this video, we've walked through these main new aspects of Oticon Genie 2 for 2024.1. For more detailed information about these new aspects, please reach out to your local Oticon representative or visit the Oticon website.